more Christians being persecuted than those that are not. And you know what? The funny thing is this. The ones being persecuted are usually the stronger Christians. We have freedom. You can go outside and shout, Jesus is Lord, over the whole Philippines. Nobody will mind. They might think you're crazy, but nobody will mind you. You can open your Bible, read publicly on a sidewalk, reading the Bible, step on a box with a karaoke and preach the gospel. Nobody will mind you. They won't put you to jail. We have it easy. But see, this is talking about lordship. In other words, being number one. Is he number one in your life? That's what, that, that's what this is all about. The Caesar worship that's coming in today. Yeah, it's okay, go ahead, go to church. You know, I understand that. But you know what? You, you were out partying all night last night. You deserve to rest. Just go to another church. It's okay, it's all the same. See? And we give, we give in to our flesh. Sometimes a little too much. A little too much. Yesterday, I was just so tempted. You know, I had a long day yesterday. Yesterday was such a long day. Um, I had to bring my daughter to, enter, to a school for interview, you know, for college. And uh, that took longer than I thought. I thought that she'd be done in a few minutes and we're out. I can start my message before the intensify of the youth at 6 o'clock. But that took so long. I mean, we just waited and waited and waited and waited. And the interview was done in about five minutes. But we waited about two hours. You know, and they said, please be here on time. You know, I wanted to get mad at the administrator. He says, do you know how much my time is? <laughs> Deducted from the tuition. You know? <laughs> I'll charge you 50000 an hour. <laughs> so, para libre na. No? <laughs> anyway, uh, and, and so it was, it was quite long. No? I got home and then uh, uh, my mind was just not in the zone. You know? You know, the Bible's open, the computer, my, all my uh, internet uh, thing for my study and everything. I've got my book here, my Bible there, another Bible here, and all that stuff. And zero. Just nothing. Zero. So I pray in tongues for a while. You know, I was there on the ground floor. I was praying tongues, praying tongues, praying tongues, praying tongues. I sit back. Nothing. I get my oil, anoint my mind. You know, it's everything. Kulang na lang. You know, pour oil everywhere. Every, and I sit. Nothing. Then I look. Oh no, it's five o'clock. We have to go. You know? So we go and then we, we do this thing and then we end quite late, actually. I get home finally at about, what time? 11 o'clock, right? And now I can start. So I tell the kids, you got to wake up early because we're going to leave the house at, what time? Seven. I had to bring Caleb to UST for his entrance test. He's there now. You know, so seven were there, 7.30 were there, so I'm here early, right? And so anyway, I said, 11 o'clock, finally, take my shower, feel fresh, have my coffee, I'm ready now. Sit there and <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I said, Lord, you got to hurry this up, you know. <laughs> I mean, these things don't come just like this. So let, let's, let's do this a little quick here, you know. So it's a... You know, it's 12 o'clock, okay. Zero per end, you know. Continue, continue. It's 12.30, still nothing. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Finally, 1 o'clock, it starts to flow, right. Now, I had to do a little research for all this. Otherwise, I won't know what I'm telling you guys. You know, I want to make sure that this is right. So I, I got all this. Finally, no, no, no. It's, I'm not saying this so you'll applaud me, okay? No, no, no. Um, it's, it's just that one o'clock it started. Three o'clock, I finally said, I can't anymore. I got to sleep, you know? And my slides were not done yet. I went to sleep, got up at five, just so I could continue working again, which I did. Showered, brought Caleb, came here. So while the Tagalog service was going on, I was in there finishing my slides feverishly all the way until the praise and worship of this service ended. 
because we still had the training for raining. You know, then I rushed it up there, you know, and then something happened to the computer. It just died. I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> I said, oh no, what happened? Well, I looked low back, you know, dead back. Okay, so anyway, we had to do a quick charge. But you see, the thing is, we can't give in to the flesh. My flesh wants to sleep, even right now. You make me lie down, I'm in the zone. <laughs> the <zzz> zone <laughs> kind of thing. See? That's, that's what my flesh wants to do. But I cannot give in to the flesh. See, my flesh needs to obey my spirit. Because my spirit loves to obey the Holy Spirit. Just like your spirit loves to obey the Holy Spirit. It's the flesh that gets in the way. See? The flesh is the one that gets... There's nothing wrong with sleeping. Nothing wrong. Not at all. But sometimes... Sleep gets in the way. That's when you say, enough. Enough. See? Sometimes food gets in the way. And you'll need to say, enough. I know that's hard, but you know. Maybe we need to fast more often, you know. So we get to subject the flesh. I hate fasting. I really do. I get hungry when I fast. You know? But you see, look at this. Christianity today, unfortunately, talks about a Savior, but not a Lord. We want to get saved, but we don't want to obey. But He is both Savior and Lord. It's like wearing pants. You have the left and the right. Hold them up high. No. <laughs> but you see, thank you. <laughs> see, you don't go wearing only one side. You're going to look really funny. Diba? So, you, you, you wear pants, both legs are covered. It's the same thing with Jesus. He's both Savior and Lord. Can't be Savior alone. Lord means He's the boss. He's the owner. He's the one who purchased you. He's the one who calls the shots. He's the one that tells us what to do, not we telling him what to do. So when he says pray, we just say, how long? Not, na naman. Lord, do you know what time it is? Now? Can't I just do it later? See, we like Savior. We don't like Lord. The Bible tells us to win souls. But many people don't like to do that. They don't like to share. I'm too shy. I don't know the Bible enough. You know, they always, got, they're, they're be, so busy being Moses. You know, I, I, I don't know how to speak. I, I stutter too much. You know, we, we laugh at Moses. That's us. That's us. We look for every excuse not to obey. And there are people now, preachers even, all they do is want you to feel good but they don't talk about obedience. They don't talk about, they don't talk about subjecting the flesh. Mortifying, the Bible says, mortifying the deeds of the flesh. And they say, well, it's okay if you sin once in a while. Jesus understands anyway. Yes, He does. He does understand. But He also tells us to go and sin no more. See? He is Lord. Let me give you a verse. <clears throat> Second Peter 2.1 But there were also false prophets, look at this, among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you, he said. Will be, this talks about even up to our time now, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord. See that? Not denying the Savior, denying the Lord who bought them and bring on themselves swift destruction. They're not denying His being a Savior. They're denying His being a Lord. And that brings destruction. In fact, swift destruction. I want to show you a quick, short video. It's a satire, I think. I forgot what satire means. 
but it sounds right, so 